right now I'm on the show one day at a time. Yes. And I found out that one of our writers, Dan Signore, he, he's one of our head writers, actually. A uh, couple years back, a friend of his came up to him and asked if he wanted to invest in his new software program. And Dan took a flyer and said, yeah, sure, sure. Here's some money. It was Zoom. <laughs> so now Dan is a multi-millionaire. So yeah. he got on the bottom floor of Zoom and wrote it straight to the cloud. <laughs> Good for him. I was just saying like a week ago, I wish I had bought stock in Zoom about six <laughs> months ago, but it sounds like he one up to me. <laughs> yeah, I'll say. So speaking of one day at a time, uh, this, this to me is like the classic feel good story because first of all, the original version was such a wonderful show. And then news comes out that it's coming back on Netflix and everybody just goes nuts. And sometimes when that happens, it doesn't live up to expectations, but it certainly did. And I think in some cases, perhaps surpassed expectations. And then Netflix comes out and says, this is too popular. We're going to cancel it. And everybody <laughs> is very upset. They're crying about it. And, um, and oftentimes that happens and you don't hear about anything ever again, but then pop TV comes into the rescue and revives one day at a time. What sort of an emotional roller coaster was that like being in the show? It was, it was interesting. It was a little bit like a COVID-19 experience. <laughs> you, you know, where the crisis, you don't experience all at once, but you experience it in waves. Uh, you're, you're not aware of the whole situation. I was doing the Goldbergs and I was feeling very good about season three of One Day at a Time. Ordinarily, Netflix kind of hides its analytics, but we found out that the first year on Netflix, one day at a time, two million people tuned in. Mm -hmm. Second year, four million. Third year, eight million. So I'm expecting any moment, I'm working on the Goldbergs, we're having a great time, we're laughing. I'm expecting to get the phone call from Mike and Glory, our executive producers, that we're back on season four, get ready. We're, we're getting ready to go. And sure enough, the AD knocks on my door and says, Stephen, we'll be ready for you in about five minutes to do a graduation scene on the Goldbergs. I go, great, I'm ready. Phone rings. Mike and Gloria. I'm going, ESP is at it again. I, I answer my little phone and it's Gloria going, Stephen, I'm sorry to tell you this, but it looks like our little show has come to an end and my heart falls through the floor. She said, Netflix has canceled us, and Mike Royce is saying, you know, we loved it, we loved everything. And then I get the knock on my door again, it's the AD saying, we're ready to shoot your scene on the Goldbergs. <laughs> so now I went from the top of the mountain to the bottom of the cave, oh. and I, I can't even remember my lines doing, doing, doing this. And I realized that's what a professional actor has to do. He, mm. he has to be funny when he's just been told he's been canceled. Mm -hmm. After we shot the goal, and everyone on the Goldbergs knew it. Everyone on the Goldbergs knew it, and they were all consoling me as I got, as I got up to the stage. Uh, the, the producer hugged me and said, it was a great show. I don't understand. You know, it was a very family feeling on the Sony lot. Wow. And... I uh, got a call uh, three months later, something like that. I, it was in May. In May, I got a call from Mike and Gloria again saying, we're having a producer's meeting in Austin, Texas. Can you be there with the cast? Uh, we want to do a Q&A with the cast. I go, well, well, sure, sure. So I get to Austin and Mike says, Stephen, I've worked on dead shows and I've worked on near dead shows and half dead shows. I don't think we're dead. We may have a chance. There are three people that may be in want to bid on bringing one day at a time back. And it was Sony and it was pop TV that ended up bringing us back. And I have to thank Sony for the fight they have in believing in this show, magnificent executive producers as a studio, and Pop TV, the passion they have for the show. And we ended up shooting. So now we're on top of the world, <laughs> right? Again, we're on yeah. top of the world, and we shoot four shows, 
And then the fifth show, we had no audience because we had a strange piece of camera equipment. And so they said, well, we have to kind of shoot this without an audience. Sixth show, no audience because of COVID-19. And then Sony shuts down. Yeah. So we did half of our season. And now I'm back in the basement (laughs) in despair, you know, not knowing where, what, you know, you just have to take things one day at a time. That's exactly right. That that seems to be a common phrase people are using over and over again. 